Hey there guys, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on the mixed up game that I'm making. Um, I posted the image uh, from when I got the artwork uh, a week or so back, um, but I didn't actually start the coding till tonight. Um, so I'm just going to show you quickly what I have so far. And uh, I've come a long way in just the night, uh, that's for sure. Um, overcome some uh, some obstacles that uh, were fairly difficult uh, without having writable tables and stuff like that so uh, but I think I've done a pretty good job I'm gonna go ahead um, and start the puzzle um, so they pop up like that um, now this is still again very basic so I'm gonna have a lot more cool effects when I start it but or when I get going but um, so basically the object is to um, rearrange these letters um, in each row um, to create a word. So um, say I select this letter, um, I can't select a letter from any other row. I only can select, or from any other column, sorry, I only can select from the same column. So I can arrange letters like that. Alright, so um, I'm not really sure what uh, these words are and for time in the video I'm just gonna cheat. I have a little cheat here. So mists is one of the words, so M I S T and you'll see here I have zero correct. As soon as I put the S there, boom, I have one correct. Um, and I'll go to the next one, uh, tarts. It's constantly every time I make a move it's checking to see if there's more um, correct or not. Now I have two. Uh, grain. Now I have three, and then the last two is soups, and then pages. Boom! So I got all five, and the object is going to be able to uh, get this uh, the whole puzzle done before the time runs out. Uh, I think I'm going to have a couple different game modes. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm even thinking of uh, when, it's, when the game starts. Um, it starts off with just two words, and then once you get it, then it goes to three words, then four words, then five words. Um, still a lot to do. I'm thinking um, when I select, instead of it being um, grayed out uh, like it is, I think I'm going to have it change like a different color or something like that. And then I'm going to gray out the remaining um, columns. So that way you, the user knows they can only choose from this column because it's going to be the only column lit up. Um, also, when a correct word happens, I'm going to find a way to kind of lock it there or, um, you know, um, show that it's a correct word, um, something like that. But there's going to be a lot of cool effects, but uh, so far pretty good. Um, so it, it, it checks to see if each one of these rows is a correct word. Um, you can only select from the same row. Um, pretty cool. And um, I think it's going to be pretty fun when it's done, and I'll uh, do another video tomorrow or the next day and show you where I'm at. If you have any comments or ideas, uh, feel free to post them. I'm uh, As I'm working, I'm happy to take ideas uh, that'll make the game better, so um, I'll talk to you soon.